Today I want to cover the difference of two squares. The difference of two squares is a special factoring formula. Other special factoring formulas include difference of two cubes and sum of two cubes. In most cases, however, you usually use the difference of two squares. That's the one that you probably see the most. You usually do difference of two squares when you're factoring polynomials and trying to find zeros or you're factoring polynomials to divide by other polynomials and trying to find the common factors. So let's take a look at what the difference of two squares says. The difference of two squares says that a squared minus b squared equals a plus b a minus B. So how did they derive that? If we start with our a plus b, a minus b, and we did our foil to distribute. So remember, first times first, which gives us a squared, a times a, o is outer times outer, so a times negative b gives us negative a b i is inner times inner so b times a which would be also a plus a b and last times last which gives us negative b times b gives us negative b squared now as you can see the a b and the minus a b cancelled out which leaves us with a square minus b square, which is our difference of two squares. So let's look at a simple example. Let's say we have a squared minus 25. As you can see, we have an a square and we have a 5 square. So we can write it as a square minus 5 square. And if we follow our rule that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b, a minus b, can you now see that your b is now in the form of 5? So we can plug it in into our formula, which gives us a and 5, a and 5 with a plus and a minus in each of these parentheses. Let's try another problem. Let's say we have 4, 4, x squared minus y squared. So what's our a and what's our b? Let's make it, let's make our first term into a perfect square, which gives us 2 x squared the whole thing minus y squared. Now, comparing your 2x squared and y squared to your a and b, do you see that your a is now 2x and your b is now y? We can now plug it into our formula. So what's our a now? Our a is 2x. Our b is now y. And we're going to put a plus and a minus in each of the parentheses. Let's try this one. Let's say now we have 16x to the power of 4 minus y. Let's say to the power of 4 as well. Okay, let's turn this into a perfect square. So I can say that it is 4x square square minus y squared squared. Now do you see now that our a is 4x squared and our b is y squared. So let's put it in our form of a plus b, a minus b. In this case our a is 4x squared and our b is y squared. A plus and a minus in there. Now we're not done yet. If you notice over here, we still have another difference of two squares. So, I'm going to write that 
I'm just going to write my 4x squared plus y squared. And then I am going to break this down again into 2x squared because 2 times 2 is 4 and x times x is x squared minus y squared. Okay, do you see now that our 2x squared is, I'm, I'm sorry, my, my 2x is my a and my y is my b. So let's do a difference of two squares again. Put my parentheses. We have my a, which is 2x, and our b is y, the plus and a minus there. I'm going to show you that this became that. And then I'm going to bring down my 4x squared plus y squared is my final answer. Now, what if we had something like this? Can we still apply the difference of two squares? If you notice, 1 is a perfect square, but what about a? We can write out a as square root of a, because we square root what we have. And the square root of 1 is 1, so we're going to put 1, and we're going to put plus and a minus in there. So yes, we can apply the difference of two squares, even if the squares are not obviously um, present. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I offer tutoring services, and I also sell math lessons and worksheets online. Links down below. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for joining me.